Hello, welcome to First Christian Church, Disciples of Christ in Pasadena, Texas. My name is Judy Dalton, and we are recording this service from the Dalton House. Today is June 19th, 2022. Please leave a comment so that we at church can know who all is part of our worship community this week. Our worship community takes seriously Jesus' call for us to do right by our neighbors, and part of that is giving credit where credit is due. So we have obtained the correct licensing for the recording and sharing of this worship service. Our CCLI number is 439-1628. If you have a candle with you, take a moment now to light it. We do so as a sign of God's presence in our midst, even though we worship remotely from one another. This summer, I am on sabbatical leave. Every five years, I earn three months time for rest, renewal, um, and recharging, I guess. Anyway, so I'm on sabbatical May 1st through July 30th, but our congregation wanted to make sure that there was something online for everybody uh, once a week. So I um, put together a series of stories, and I'm sharing one each week with you, along with scripture and a song, and of course, communion. We are disciples of Christ. Today's story is from Jewish Midrash. Um, it's easily accessible online. It's pretty well known, and it's one of my favorites. It's called The Old Man and the Tree. Our scripture comes to us from 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 6 through 9. Paul is writing to the church in Corinth. He says, I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the growth. So neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who gives the growth. The one who plants and the one who waters have a common purpose, and each will receive wages according to the labor of each. For we are God's servants working together, and you are God's field, God's building. May God add blessing to this reading and to this story. Once upon a time, Emperor Hadrian was riding with his army through Galilee toward Tiberias. As he passed down a lane, he noticed a very old man digging in the earth to plant trees. The emperor ordered a soldier to bring the ancient gardener before him. The emperor asked, Old man, why are you planting that tree? The time to plant was in your youth to bear fruit for your old age. It's too late now. At this stage of your life, you can't hope to taste the fruit from it. The old man bowed before the emperor as best as his back would allow him, and he answered, In my youth I worked, and I still work. With God's good pleasure, I may yet try the fruit of this tree I plant. I am in God's hands. How old are you? asked the emperor. I have lived for a hundred years. A hundred years old and still you expect to eat the fruit from the tree? The old man answered, God who granted me longevity may allow me to eat of the fruit of this tree. But in any case, when I plant trees, I am merely imitating God's act of creation. If I do not live long enough to eat the fruit of this tree, I will leave it for future generations as my ancestors left the fruit of their labor for me. Well, the emperor was very impressed. And he said, promise me that if you live until the figs from this tree are ripe, you'll let me know. Several years later, the trees produced fruit. 
the old man who was still living enjoyed its figs for his breakfast. And one day, the emperor happened to be again visiting Galilee. The old man heard of this and he resolved to visit the emperor. He took a small basket, filled it with the choicest figs from his tree and made his way to see the emperor. At the gate of the place where the emperor was staying, the old man told the guard his purpose. And after waiting a while, he was finally admitted into the presence of the emperor. Again, the old man bowed as deeply as his old back would allow him. And he said, years ago, you saw an old man planting a fig tree. You said to him, if you live to eat its fruit, I pray you will let me know. Behold, I am that old man. I have come and brought you fruit of that tree so that you also may taste it. So pleased was the emperor with his gift that he accepted the fruit and ordered that the basket be filled with coins for the old man to take home. And then he addressed the old man. He said, go home, good friend and continue to participate with God in the act of creation. I love that story. May we be as wise as that old man and every day give of ourselves, our lives, our work to making the world a better place for everyone. May God be our vision as we do this. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart. Not be all else to me, save that thou art. Thou my best thought by day or by night. Wait my light. Be thou my wisdom and thou my true word. I ever with thee and thou with me, Lord. Thou my redeemer, my love thou hast won. Thou in me dwelling and I will We are one with Christ. And every time we take communion, we strengthen this bond, um, this community uh, of which we are a part. So let us eat together and drink as one the body and blood of our Savior. Let us pray. Oh God, we thank you for this special meal. Let what we eat and what we drink support us this week and always. Strengthen us for your service and assure us of your presence, your patience, and your love. Amen. We remember on the night Jesus sat at table with his disciples, how he took the bread of their meal and he blessed it, giving thanks to God. And then he broke the bread and gave it to the disciples, saying to them, Take, eat, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In a similar manner after supper, Jesus took the cup of their meal after giving thanks to God, he gave the cup to the disciples and he said to them, This is the cup of the new covenant. My blood poured out for the forgiveness of your sins, so drink of it, all of you. Do this in remembrance of me.
Every time we eat the bread and drink the cup, we remember the Lord's death until he comes. Let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I invite you to follow Jesus. If you want to be a Christian, please call the church at 281-991-4585. Someone will get in touch with you and um, help you along this journey. And if you're already a disciple of Christ, recommit your life to Jesus today and put your faith into action. Our reading for this week is Psalm 116, 116. Read the whole thing. And um, if you want to know about the June outreach opportunities, please call the church and um, someone will help you with that. Remember to give to your local congregation or First Christian Church of Pasadena. I promise we are, we will be good stewards of every gift entrusted to our care. I love you. I pray for you every day. Be safe. Be smart. And be aware of God's Holy Spirit leading you this week and always. God bless you.